Hey guys, Go Kids here, making more videos again, and today we're going to talk about paddle shifters. Let's get to it. Now, the paddle shifters on the Honda Accord are located right behind the wheel. Here's the positive, as you can see, and here's the negative. I don't really use paddle shifters at all. In the beginning, when I got the car first, I thought they were really awesome and really cool, but I tend to not use it because I don't see the use for it. Now, you can use these paddle shifters when you're trying to accelerate and try to get in front of someone, uh, you know, or trying to decelerate real quickly. You could use the paddle shifters for that reason, but in most situations, you're not going to be using paddle shifters. But at any rate, I still wanted to make this video because people requested it. So let's get to it. Now there are only two positions you can use the shifters. Number one is the drive mode and two the sport mode. As you might be able to see in display right here, I'm, I'm going to change from reverse to neutral to drive and then also the sport mode. The two modes you can use, the sport and the drive. Now in normal driving, I always use drive mode. But if I'm trying to have a little bit of fun with the car, I always use sport mode. In sport mode, the RPMs are higher, the throttles are louder, the acceleration is faster. It just has a better feel to the car. Now on the downside, obviously, when you're using sport mode, you're going faster, you're also losing a lot of gas. So it's your decision to what you want to do. So I'm going to show you how, this, how the paddle shifters react in both drive and also sport. So first we're going to do drive and then I'm going to start rolling the car and you can see that the car is moving out here. When you're driving the car on drive, the shifting is all done automatically. But what if you want to shift? In drive mode you're able to shift up or down but the thing is it's very limited because it does it automatically for you. I mean you, you're, you're trying to go fast and you shift. It really it drops down the it drops down the gear for you. It does everything automatically. I mean you could force it on it, but the thing is it does it automatically. The best time I found out that to use paddle shifters in a drive is is when you're trying to accelerate faster to get in front of someone. If I want to get in front of someone, I drop the gear, speed it up a little bit, it goes faster, and then bring the gear back onto the normal gear setting. You don't have to do anything of that while you're in drive because it does it all automatically. But you're able to downshift or upshift at your discretion. When you're using paddle shifters on drive mode, it's automatically done. Even if you shift it in the wrong gear, it will automatically change it for you. Or even if you shift up, it'll bring it down. Now in sport mode, the downshifting is done automatically, but the upshifting is actually done manually. Let's let's give it a go. I'm gonna hit it on one. As you can see, the gear shifting is the gear is on one, and I'm gonna go. It's not gonna shift to two unless I do it for it. As you can see, it does it. It's on two right now. I'm gonna hit it on three and I'll bring it to four and then automatically it shifts down for me if I don't shift down three two one so I'm gonna hit this turn right when I get my shifter I'm gonna go to two three four there you go it's that simple all it is a clicking of the button and as you can see when I'm starting to slow down I'm gonna bring it to three Gonna bring it to two and then I'm gonna bring it to one I can also do that if I want to and the car slows down dramatically doesn't shift up for me two three four and when it's slowing down three two one Bring it to five. One speed up. Bring it down. Hit the gas. Bring it back to five. And then start slowing the car down. Obviously, it does it automatically for downshifting, so I'm going to let it do it automatically. Brings it to two, one, and then obviously it stops the car as you can see. You're gonna probably ask 
when do you actually have to shift? It's all up to the user. If the user wants to shift at a higher RPM, you can obviously shift at a higher RPM. If the user wants to shift at a lower RPM, you can do that to your discretion. Obviously, if you drive a, if you know how to drive a manual car, you'll understand the principle of when you actually have to shift. And so in conclusion, all you have to know is that when you're using paddle shifters, you have to be into drive or sport mode. And in drive mode, it does the upshifting and downshifting automatically. But in sport mode, it does the downshifting automatically, but the upshifting is manual. Does this replace manual shifting cars? In the Honda Accord, it does not, guys. I mean, I'm gonna tell you right now, these paddle shifters are cool and it looks nice, but it does not actually replace a real manual shifting car. And any, any person that drives a manual will be able to tell you that also. Now this is just my opinion and you know once you're actually driving it now you, that you know what these shifters do you can formulate your own opinions but in the end i'm going to be driving in drive for normal driving i want to have a little bit of fun sport mode it is all right guys that's pretty much it for this video make sure you leave a comment down below if you want any other requests for videos on my honda accord i know people like to ask questions about the little things in the honda accord that I don't cover so if you want a video request make sure you leave it in the comment below Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe for more videos in the future. And I will catch you on the next video. Kings are here saying thanks for watching and peace.